that pencil is ridiculous. Okay, that's better. Hey everyone, it's Susan Jones and welcome back to my Sunday Spotlight. If you're new here, every single Sunday I upload a quick and easy video that you can watch and then take that activity and use in your classroom right away. If you've been following along, then welcome back. Last week I went ahead and uploaded a CVC word game. It was hands-on and it was all about having students uh, segment the phonemes in CVC words and identify the medial vowel. This game is going to be a little bit different. They will have to figure out which middle vowel goes in any of the words. And this is called Roll and Complete. Let's see how to play. All you're going to need is a dice like so. This is a cool dry erase dice. There's a set of four of them. I got them on Amazon. I can go ahead and link those down below, um, but you don't need to purchase these. You can easily just use any sort of dice and write down. It's a six-sided die, so on any of the sides you need to write down all five vowels and a little star, which is kind of like the wild symbol. You could do a question mark or a heart, whatever you want. I did a little star because I thought it was fun. Last year I uploaded a game called What's Missing, and I'll go ahead and link that above so you can take a look. This game is kind of the precursor to that one. So in that game you had to go ahead and figure out which vowel would go in all of the words, so there'd be like a list of them, and they had to figure out which one fit in all of them to make them all work. So instead of using a set of words in this game, Roll and Complete, you only need to figure out, you can kind of choose which one you want to do, and you can pick any vowel that works in that word. And for what's missing, it also had digraphs, blends, and all other sort of phonic skills. So this one is all about the middle vowel, great for the beginning of the year in first grade or later on in kindergarten, and all students will have to do is Roll and Complete. I would usually do a game like this as a small group warm up. So if students are coming to my guided reading table and they're all kind of working on CBC words, I would do that then. I also used to have a specific phonics block set aside in my classroom. So I would be working on, if we were working on specific short vowels and CBC words, this would be a game I would just warm us up with. So students simply take turns rolling their dice landed on A, and I would choose any of these words. Here I only have three, just so you can see them, but realistically I would probably put about 10 different words on here that could be made. So A, the student would have to come up, they could take a look, they could either use a little magnet tile to put it in, or they can always just come write the word. And let's see, A would actually fit in all of them, but let's say I wanted tap. Tap, that's a word, I would put it there. Then students could just pass their dice to somebody else, roll it. This time I got a U and I could either look and say m, mm, uh, t, l, up. Uh, hmm, neither of those work. So as the teacher you can decide they can either roll again or you can just have them pass the dice because realistically for that warm up they've already done exactly what you want them to do. They have went ahead and put that vowel in the middle, they've blended it together and seen that it makes a nonsense word, not a real one. And of course the star is just wild, so if they roll a star they get to choose any word and figure out the vowel that goes inside. I have chosen to show you how to play it with the middle vowel missing, but you could also definitely do this with the beginning consonant or the end consonant. You could also add digraphs or blends. You just want to make sure that whatever you're adding to your dice, that the, it can fit into some of the words on the board. So you'll just have to think about what you go ahead and put in there. But if you were all working on short vowel A, let's say your group was focusing on that, you could all have at, app, you could have all short vowel word families there, and then go ahead and find some consonants that would fit on this dice perfectly to make some real words. And that's how you play Roll and Complete. As I said, this is a very simple, fast warm-up that you can do. You can definitely do this with your whole class if that's something you are all working on at one time and just pass the dice around. It only takes a few minutes. Or you could do this in smaller focused groups. So grab yourself a die and start playing. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you like this idea. If you plan on using this or kind of modifying it to use in your own classroom, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. I love when teachers share their experiences with the games or different ways that they kind of changed it up. I find that it's really helpful for other teachers to read those as well. If you want to see my videos every single week, make sure you are subscribed and click that bell. That way you're notified of every new week's upload. See you next Sunday. Bye! video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. I can't do that with this.